Hey everybody, welcome to diet update number two. Here we are, week number two. This won't technically be a weekly series, this will kind of be at least a week. Maybe it'll go 10 days one week, or uh, maybe it'll be two weeks. But uh, they're just gonna be updates throughout, basically. So I'm gonna talk about things like updating you guys about how I feel, weight loss, tips and tricks that I've learned, obstacles I had for the week, and how I overcame them, if I overcame them, and just general stuff like that. So first let's talk about, I got the flu. I got the flu this week. So that was mostly an obstacle. Um, it's kind of a positive thing right now, I'll explain. So, my flu was pretty short, because uh, luckily I went to the doctor within 48 hours, and with, if you go within 48 hours, they can give you Tamiflu. And Tamiflu is amazing. It's an amazing drug, and it cuts down your symptoms very quickly. I'm gonna say I had the flu for like five days. Two, uh, three of them being the worst, the other two recovering. I mean, I'm still kind of recovering. I have a little bit of a cough, but overall, I feel great. A little congestion in the head, sinuses, I guess. I don't really know. Um, but that stunk because I couldn't exercise. I was so excited for the new year, and I got my rings, the activity app, on my watch, and uh, I was so excited about... about not closing my rings, or closing my rings every single day of 2019. And then here we are, I got January 1st, January 2nd, which I probably shouldn't have done that day anyway because that's when I was starting to get sick. And then I'm missing like five days. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then I restarted again yesterday. Um, but that's annoying, that's a blow, you know? I, was, I wanted full rings. When you look at the calendar mode, I wanted a full, well now I have this lapse. But hey, that's a good excuse, right? The flu, you don't want to exercise, especially with the flu. You want to rest, you want to heal, otherwise it's going to take longer to get better, right? Um, during the flu, I don't really think I had a loss of appetite. I was still hungry, I was still eating. Um, but here's the thing, I feel like I have a loss of appetite now and especially during the day. Like normally I would be hungry right now, I'd be thinking about eating my salad, and then I'll have my prepared lunch at lunchtime, but like I don't even want it, and I'm skipping the salad, or there was even a day where I skipped both of them and I just went straight for dinner. Like my, my appetite is definitely not there right now, which I'm not gonna complain too much about. I do wanna lose some weight, <laughs> so starving yourself is not the way to go, but I'm not starving myself, I'm just not hungry. So I'll take advantage of that, I guess. Um, being sick, um, it was difficult, you know, household stuff, you know. Liz did a lot, a lot, grocery shopping and stuff like that. But there was one night and I was like, babe, just go to Chili's and get Chili's to go for dinner. I want a hamburger. I got a burger and I got fries and it was delicious. I was craving a burger so bad and I was kind of thinking to myself, like, is my body like telling me that I need iron or whatever than a burger. Like, so I was like, I, I wanna get that. And I was feeling terrible, terrible. Last thing I wanted to do is like focus on, on eating healthy. I just wanted to eat something that I wanted and I got it. And guys, I feel like the next day I didn't do so good either. I feel like for, for dinner, I had something not good, but for the life of me, I cannot remember. And I was trying to remember so hard. I even checked my debit card statement and, and there's nothing in there that, for a hint. So I, I don't know, I'm not really sure. But other than that, that's it. I did good. Um, I've been cooking at home. Uh, even if there's not something that's not like crazy healthy dinner, there's portions. Portion control is a thing, so. That's tough though, especially when I make something so delicious. I <laughs> just want more. Um, what else? I've been preparing lunches. If you watch the video, you'll see that I do this. I even made a meal prep video yesterday. That's actually going out today. It's already out for you guys if you want to see it. But basically, I'm meal prepping lunches for Liz and I throughout the entire week. Work week, not weekends. And uh, I've just been doing like like a protein. So we got chicken and then we got veggies. I got broccoli and carrots and then a grain. It's, it's either brown rice or there was like this rice mix one day. Right now we have quinoa. And that's been working out and I was loving it. I'm not really loving it the past week or so because like I, like I said, I'm just not hungry. I'm not hungry. It's weird. It's so weird not to be hungry, but 
I'm sure that'll come back. I'm sure it's just my body. I'm sure it's because I had the flu. I guess. I don't know. Um, so is that it as far as like eating wise? Let's talk about veg, uh, vitamins. Vitamins. Oh, let's talk about veggies and fruits. Have I been eating a lot of, let's talk about snacks. Snacks. <laughs> so I cut out all my bad snacks. I don't have them all. There's nothing really to update with that, I guess. Uh, I haven't been really exploring my snack option at night. I'm always feeling like, oh, I need snacks, I need snacks, and then I end up not eating anything. I have apples, but like, I need more options in the house, I think, so I gotta think about that next time I go grocery shopping and uh, pick up a couple other things. I have pretzels, I don't know why I'm not eating these things, but yeah so vitamins i have fish oil and i have a multivitamin and uh for the past week or whatever it's been i think it's been like eight days uh i think i missed one or two days and it might have been because of the flu or just feeling terrible and i'm not doing anything those days you know uh but i've been taking them pretty decently i didn't take today's yet i don't have a schedule yet i need like every morning i take it or every dinner i take it or every night before bed i take it i need something like that i need to enforce that for myself and then i won't forget you know right now it's just like oh i gotta take my vitamins it's a random time of the day salt now some people get confused when i say i don't want to add salt to my foods because i overdo it like crazy um and they're saying you need salt in your diet which yeah i understand that but what I'm talking about is the added salt. I'm talking about the salt shaker that you put on the table. I'm still cooking with salt. I'm still eating salty foods. I don't look at sodium. I, I just eat whatever it is, you know what I mean? But like if I'm making pasta with sauce, normally I would put the salt shaker on the table and then I would salt the entire thing. I would eat like a layer off of it and I would salt more. And don't, don't get me wrong, it's, it's so delicious. Salt makes things so delicious, um, but I don't add it to things I feel like I don't that don't need it. Like I said, there's things that that need it in my book. When I'm eating steak, I want to put a little bit of salt on that. When I'm eating eggs, I need some salt on that. If I got some fresh mozzarella, I'm gonna need a little bit of salt on that. But I started adding salt to pasta and pizza and things that are already super sodium sodium filled. Lean cuisines are known to have so much sodium in, in them. And there's times where I'm adding salt to it. That's what I'm talking about, the added salt. I eat salt. I'm just not adding a crazy amount of it to it. So uh, doing good with that. I'm not adding anything. So I had eggs one morning. Liz made me eggs. I added it to that. Like I said, I feel like that's fine. Um, but pasta, I'm not adding it to it anymore. All right, what's next on my list? Snacking I did. Uh, soda. Soda. I... Honestly, soda was kind of easy-ish, hard-ish, easy. Because of the flu, I was just feeling terrible and I wasn't thinking about much. And I, I couldn't really think about the soda, I guess. It was a few days I was like, oh, I haven't had soda. But uh, today is the uh, ninth, right? Yeah, it's the ninth. So day nine of no soda. And uh, I'm doing good. Don't get me wrong. I think about it and I'm like, ooh, that would be good right now. But I'm doing good. We haven't... We haven't succumb, succumb, is that a word, succumb? Like succumbed? We haven't drank soda, both Liz and I, because she's also doing this, I don't know if I've talked about that, but she's doing exactly what I'm doing, she's eating what I'm eating, um, she's quitting what we're quitting, we're doing it together, I mean, she doesn't add as much salt as, as I add, so that's not really a thing for her, but. Oh, and then I switching from coffee to tea, I haven't drank coffee. Now, this doesn't mean I'm never gonna drink coffee again, I have coffee in the house. There may be a day where I'm like, you know what? As a treat, I want some coffee. And it's fine, it's fine. Because my thing was, is that if I'm drinking coffee once or twice a day, regularly, like it's a regular thing I do, and I'm adding so much half and half into it, and so much sugar into it, and that's just like, like naturally just automatically in my body, all that cream and all that sugar. Whereas, like, if tea is my normal drink, then hey, I'm only putting like a little squirt of honey in there and that's it. There's no dairy. There's no like granulated sugar. Honey's a little bit better, I think. Um, and there's nothing in my body. Like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? Like, I add so much unhealthy additives to coffee than I do over tea. So that's why I wanted tea to be my regular drink. So having coffee once in a while is not gonna be a problem for me. I'm not quitting it 
completely. If I'm out at Barnes and Noble and they have a Starbucks, yeah, I'm gonna get myself a coffee because it's fun. It's fun to get a coffee, hang out with the family, look at kids' books, stuff like that. Or, or wherever, not just Barnes and Noble, but like anywhere, or even at home. I may just be into a coffee one day. I'm not quitting coffee completely for the, for the sake of quitting coffee. I'm just quitting coffee because all the additives I add to it is just ridiculous. And I've tried cutting that down and I just don't enjoy it anymore. So I might as well just cut it out completely. And I think the only other thing to talk about, oh, exercise, exercise. So yeah, like I said, that was quite a blow. I couldn't get out and walk. I didn't want to go out and walk. I didn't feel like it, obviously. Second of all, I wanted to rest and heal my body. Third of all, I didn't want to go out there and like breathe in and out really quickly this freezing cold air into my throat. You know what I mean? Like I'm sick. I wouldn't feel good. Um, so I didn't exercise. Like I said, yeah, yeah, it's five days. It's five days of rings that I don't have. So five days I didn't exercise. Um, today's the first day back. I actually already closed one ring. I'm almost closed the second one. And the only one left is the, the standing one, which is easy. You get that throughout the day. Um, but I want to talk about something I got for this thing right here, actually. If you can't see what that is, that's a Nintendo Switch. And uh, I got this uh, game called Fitness Boxing. And the reason I got it was because there are certain days where it's really tough to find a time to exercise. I may be home during the day, let's say, with one kid or even both kids, right? And Liz is working that day for whatever reason. Maybe it's a weekend, maybe Sophia's homesick or holiday or summer, who knows, whatever. Catch my drift. And then uh, Liz gets home from work and then we have something scheduled for whenever she gets home. Then we gotta go out and do something, whether we're going to somebody's house or we gotta go shopping here and there. And then like, yeah, there's always a time where I can go really, really late outside. But then there's also times if we're at somebody's house, we're not home till really late or something like that. You know what I mean? Like there's no actual time to get exercise in. So I wanted to get this game so I have something for what I know. For instance, today's actually kind of a tough day because I'm home with the baby all day. And then once Liz gets home, Sophia gets home, we have about an hour, hour and a half to eat dinner, do homework and do all that kind of stuff. And then they're leaving, Liz and Sophia, because Sophia has... Uh, Girl Scouts tonight and they have to go to a couple stores and they won't be back until later tonight. So it's gonna be a difficult day to get out. So what I did was I turned this game on for the first time today and I love it. It is so good, it is such a workout. I was sweating hard. I did it for about 40 minutes, 40 minute workout, 39 minutes altogether. It's a couple different workouts. And uh, it took me a little longer than usual because you know it was the first time I was setting up my account, putting my height and weight in there and and there was tutorials and stuff like that. But uh, wow, it is quite a workout. And if you guys know, if you guys remember We Fit back in the day, how it, how it worked with the calendar and everything, it's very similar to that, except it's not an overall We Fit thing where you're doing lunges and stuff. This is just boxing. Um, I would prefer to get that kind, but they don't have that on the Switch, at least right now, it's just the boxing. But I'm actually very, very happily surprised that it was quite a workout. It was awesome. And uh, I might actually do that more often than I thought when I initially got it. So uh, if you, yeah, if you remember the Wii Fit, it's very similar to that in the sense of it's got the calendar, it's got your daily workout, and then once you do the daily workout, you stamp the calendar, and then you could always do more if you want. You don't have to. There's different workouts, you unlock different workouts, you unlock different songs, there's actual real songs in there, like from the radio, which is pretty awesome, because it, you know, it helps you get in the moment. It's rhythm based with the songs, and um, so you have the instructor in the middle, she's doing what you're doing, what you're supposed to be doing, and then to the side of her are two long lines, and it's kind of like, like those dancing games, you know, with, with like Guitar Hero, where the notes move up and then you have to hit it right at the right time. That's when you have to hit, punch, jab, straight, left hook, uppercut, like all these different things, and then there's combos and everything like that, and it's, 
it's really fun. I had a really good time. So I definitely recommend that if you have the Switch and you're into doing like an indoor workout or you need to do an indoor workout, it's definitely awesome. I did it right here because the TV is right there. And uh, the baby was right next to me. You know what's awesome about it actually? Another positive thing about it is because it's a boxing game, you're not doing kicks kicks and stuff like that. So when the baby came to my leg or was playing with my foot or whatever, I didn't have to be like, oh, move over, Max, I got a kick. And I end up kicking him in the face and the neck. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't kick my face, my baby in the face. I would be super careful. But uh, that's the thing. There's no thing like that. Everything is like from the waist up. Yeah, you're doing some stretches with your legs and stuff, but like all the punches and stuff, all the action is going on up here. So uh, baby could stay down there and play with the my sock if he wants i mean if he wants i'm working out it might be a little sweaty but um it's definitely a thumbs up for me two thumbs up i i give more if i had more thumbs but honestly that, that's all i have i'm sorry so i think i talked about everything that i wanted to talk about diet vitamin oh one thing left yeah one thing left weight loss so i'm down this is not in a week this is in nine days because it's the ninth um, like I said, it's not going to be like a weekly series, but so far, to my calculations, because I recorded, my, no, I mean I weighed myself before I started, and then I weighed myself this morning before my shower, and uh, I'm down nine pounds, guys. Now, I know you lose the most in like the first week or two. Um, my appetite being gone is probably definitely attributing to that. And, uh, but overall, it's working. I lost nine pounds. Maybe the flu helped me a little bit, but um, it was probably mostly my actions that actually did it. The exercise, the eating healthy, and the cutting out of the bad foods. So yeah, I think that's it for uh, this weekly update. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave tips down below. Let me know if you got motivated, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.